Hey y'all, there are some economic terms that you might've heard that I wanna give a little more information about and maybe provide some context so that you can apply them to your financial decisions. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Chane Carter. I am a financial educator and the founder of Empower Financial Planning. So the economic terms that I wanted to discuss today are opportunity cost and risk tolerance. So let's start with opportunity cost. There is a whole economic definition for opportunity cost, but I don't want to get into that right now. I really want you to consider an opportunity cost as the cost of the thing you didn't choose, the price of the thing you didn't buy, the investment you didn't make, the um, thing you didn't do, right? So when you're doing things with your money, whether it's spending, saving, investing, I want you to think about is there a higher or better use for that money? Is there something that you could do that would be better than what you're choosing to do right now? And the answer may be, no, there's nothing better I'd like to do with this $60 or this $600 or this $6,000. There may not be a better thing for you to do. I always want you to consider the opportunity cost for the thing you're doing, whether it's a small amount or a large amount. Because if you're considering what you could be doing with your money, what opportunities you could be missing, it may help you to make a better choice. For example, one of the reasons I always say to automate your finances is because it takes away the choices that you have to make. Do I want to save? Do I want to invest? Do I want to pay down my debt? If you have to constantly make those choices, you may make the wrong one. And each time you take the wrong choice, make the wrong decision, you're costing yourself. You're costing yourself every time you're missing an opportunity to pay down debt or make a better investment. Every time you have to make a choice and you choose the wrong thing, you're costing money. So it's why I encourage you to automate your finances, specifically your investing, so that you're continuously doing it without being scared of what you're doing, without rethinking what you're doing. It's something that makes it, it's a good choice that you can make repeatedly. So that's opportunity cost. I want you to consider the things that you're doing with your money and whether or not there's a better, higher use that you could be doing with that money. So the second thing I want to talk about is your risk tolerance, because a lot of the things that we do with money is really connected to how we feel about risk. For example, always and forever, the best thing you can do with your debt is not have any, right? We can agree on that. But occasionally paying down your debt won't be the best and highest use of your money. If you have low interest debt and you have the opportunity to invest in something that's going to have a high return, you may want to invest in the thing that's going to have a high return. But that's risky because paying down debt will mean that you won't owe, which is always a good thing. It means you won't have to worry about how to pay a thing or whether or not you have the money to pay a thing. Paying down debt has a certain amount of freedom and takes risk away. Whereas investing is always risky. It doesn't matter what anyone tells you. Investing is risky. That's the whole point of it. You put your money up against something that may have a risk so you can get a high return. So you'll get something from it. That's the point. But depending on how you feel about risk, you may not want to have a lot of it. So risk tolerance is not a formula it is not a thing someone can tell you. It is something you need to know about yourself. Now, there are factors that you can consider. Your age, your goals, who is depending on you. There are things that you can consider to determine whether or not risk is good for you or bad for you. How much do you want to sleep at night? Those kind of questions are what you should be asking when you're trying to decide whether I'm going to invest in property or invest in the stock market invest in a business or invest in crypto. Whether they're wonderful investments or not, it depends on how much risk you personally are willing to take. So as we go through and talk about different financial perspectives and what you should do with your money, I want you to consider that everybody has a different risk tolerance, how much risk they are willing to tolerate. And it's not based on a formula. It's based on you. So you know you better than anybody else. You know whether you'll be able to sleep at night if your money is in a risky place. You know whether you'll be able to eat 
on a regular basis if you have put your money in a risky place. These are things to consider when you are investing, handling your finances, dealing with your money. I hope this helped. I hope that you got lots of value from it. If so, please think about subscribing 